Hello there. Um, so this is my eyeshadow palette collection and I'm going to be doing a declutter today. Um, I've been wanting to do a declutter for a while. I feel like I've accumulated a lot of stuff. This feels like a lot to me because when I moved in 2019, I only brought with me a very small portion of my makeup collection and I feel like I have accumulated a lot of eyeshadow recently. I used to be really really picky about eyeshadow palettes. I would research them, watch a million tutorials and reviews on them before I bought them. Somewhere along 2020 I just started buying palettes a little bit more often and I'm ready to get rid of some. So here we go. I hope I can get rid of a lot but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna start off with one I know I'm definitely getting rid of. So this is a palette from Morphe. I I don't know, on the back it says 35T. I honestly don't even remember purchasing this palette. I've had it for so freaking long. This is just one of their standard terrible nude palettes. I mean, it's essentially three shades of brown repeated over and over and over again. It sucks. Like, there are some pretty colors in here, but I never reach for it because this is just not a standalone palette in any way because if any look you create would look like any other look you created. And it's just lame and I'm gonna get rid of it. So, bye Murphy. <laughs> okay, next up, this is another one I think I'm gonna let go of. This is the Morphe Jeffree Star palette. I was really pumped to get my hands on this originally. I really loved this section with the greens in it, but these greens just aren't, they just, they're not like what you think they're gonna be. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not in love with this and I feel like a lot of the nude shades are just way too orange for my taste and I'm just not really into this palette. So ooh, I'm gonna say bye to this one. Next up, I'm definitely keeping this one. This is the Jawbreaker from Jeffree Star. This was my first Jeffree Star palette. I know Jeffree Star is quite polarizing in the makeup community. I am really drawn to his eyeshadow palettes and if, quite frankly, his makeup, um, company as a whole. I was never really a huge big fan of Jeffree Star, um, but that Shane Dawson documentary, I really kind of fell in love with Jeffree Star's brand from that docu-series. I wasn't, I've never watched a J Shane Dawson video before that either. It was weird I even stumbled across it, but everyone was talking about it. Anyways, long story short, I'm gonna keep Jawbreaker. Also keeping, here is the Orgy palette from Jeffree Star as well. This is a great palette. So this is a all shades of brown palette like compared to the Morphe you can see such a different a difference in in terms of like tone and range of actual colors um this one of course is all matte I love this palette I highly recommend this palette for anybody who's a makeup artist and for people who are just sick of buying the same nude and neutral palettes out there over and over again with like pops of blue in them like every brand sells and just get yourself this Okay, this one's a little hard. So this one is a Tarte palette. I don't like Tarte. I'm gonna say that. I think this came in like a FabFitFun or something like that. And I'm not gonna lie. This is the most basic palette you've ever seen, right? This is so basic, it hurts. But I like it. I, everything apart probably from this shade, I really like. I don't like the packaging because I feel like there's a lot of just empty space in the middle. But I'm gonna hold on to this one. Next up. This is pure be your selfie. I think this might have come in like a boxy charm. I don't remember, honestly. I've had this for so long. I hit pan on it. I definitely loved this palette. This was a go-to. This was a favorite of mine for a really long time, just for everyday, like where to work looks. Um, but over time, I'm just over it. I have no intention of dipping back into this, so she's gone. Okay. This is hard. This is Okay, this is the Violets by Juvia's Place. I don't know if I've ever wanted a palette for as long as I wanted this one. I ached for this palette so bad. I was just obsessed with this palette. I remember it sold out a couple times when it first came out, first launched. I was just obsessive over it. Now that I've had it, and I have only had this probably, what, two months now, this palette, oh god, I hate to say it, this palette freaking sucks. Like, the color payout, I feel like, no, especially this color right here is really what drew me in. This color sucks. Like, there's no color payoff. The shimmery one has a little bit more of a color payoff, but I really wanted that matte. And just as a comparison, there's a matte purple 
in the Jawbreaker palette. I love this color. Like, look at the difference in color payout between these two. These are the two mattes. Jeffree Star, Juvia's Place. I... <sighs> this is hard because I've ached for this palette for so long, but now that I have it, it blows. This is way pinker than I thought this shade was going to be. Uh, I'm sorry, this one's going. That one's hard because it's so new. So this one, this is BH Cosmetics. This is the Stellar Collision. I wanted this for a really long time as well. And it's... As an eyeshadow palette, I'll be honest, this sucks. However, I've kind of started using it as a highlight palette instead. And I use this color as a blush. And I actually think maybe it was intended for that when they made it. That it was supposed to... The little ones are supposed to be eyeshadows and the big ones are supposed to be highlight. So I'm going to hold on to this as a highlight palette. But it's not eyeshadow because eyeshadow quality is not very good. This is not going anywhere. This I love. The Norvina palette from Anastasia. This is just a solid great palette. I love it. I wore it just yesterday. Great palette. Okay. So here's ColourPop, ColourPop's debut in the video. So this is the Meant to Be palette. I obsessed over this. It sold out. I waited for it to come back in. I got it. In all honesty, it's not the best quality. I really got it mostly for these three shimmer shades in the middle. These are kind of like what I was looking for, just shimmery green shades. All the mattes in this palette are pretty crappy and don't ever use them. And I'm, I'm going to hold on to it for these three shades right here. But I'm not like madly in love with it or anything. Okay, these two palettes are hard. I, these, when these launch, this is the In a Trance and the Aura and Out palettes from ColourPop. I thought, oh my god, this is going to be the most amazing palette ever. I'm going to go crazy for this. I'm going to love it so much. Actually owning it, really, I mean, what do I even use in here? I sometimes use a plus pressed glitter. The mattes suck. What do I use this palette for? This color is kind of cool right here, but it's really not that great. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I'm going to get rid of that one. All right. Then, so this one's the Aura and Out. Um, I honestly can't even, I think I've used this once. So this green shade, I got or I, I wanted, because I thought it would be a better version than the Meant to Be greens. It's the same quality. This shade is gorgeous. This weird green grass shade. I don't wear this kind of color very often, but that is quite pretty. I do really like that. Um, and I like the press glitter. Mm. Okay, I'm going to keep it. You know, oh gosh, I feel like I haven't had this long enough to really mess around with it. Let me think about this a little bit more. No, this sucks. That sucks. That sucks. I'm going to keep this one and play around with it a little more, but I'm getting rid of the inner trance. Okay, this is another color pop. This is Flutter By. Um, I purchased this palette because, oh, what's her name? This YouTuber, Porcelain something. She put this in her, like, favorite purple palette, so I thought it was going to be a lot more purple than it was. It's really a neutral palette. It's a cool tone. It's a cool toned neutral palette, which... I really like. I actually really do enjoy this palette a lot. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful palette. The packaging is gorgeous on it. Um, it's just really nice. It's a nice little small palette, but I really like it. Definitely gonna hold on to that one. Um, okay, next up. Okay. <laughs> uh, Life's a Festival from Too Faced. So here's the thing about this palette. I don't reach for this palette ever, but I have an emotional attachment to it. Obviously, it's super, super cute packaging. I think people were kind of either loved this packaging or hated this when it came out. I think this came out in 2018, so this thing is probably pretty old. Yeah, 2018. I love it, though, because at the time this palette came out, I was on a makeup no-buy for six months. That was really great. I recommend doing no buys for people. It really reset my approach to buying cosmetics and how much money I was spending and stuff like that. But this was the only thing that came into my life in those six months because I had called my sister and begged her to buy it for me because I didn't want to break my no buy. But if she bought it for me as a gift, I could have it. I loved this palette. I used it a lot when I first got it. I've actually used it a lot for a long time. I just probably haven't dipped into it for the last six months. But I can't bring myself to get rid of it, so I'm going to keep it. 
Um, okay, so here's another palette. Not gonna get rid of. This is the Carly Bible palette from Anastasia. I feel like a lot of people say they hate this palette. And I've seen a lot of declutters lately where people have gotten rid of this palette. I haven't had it that long. I bought this in 2020. Um, probably right when the pandemic hit. There was like a lot of sales going on on a lot of different cosmetic sites. And I like this palette. Apart from these two shades are identical colors. And I never use this shade. No, no, I do use that shade. I never use that shade. But other than that, I love this palette. I think it's a great palette. I hate the way it looks. Like the outer packaging is so ugly. But the inside is great. It's definitely holding on to that. This is the Androgyny palette from Jeffree Star. I got this just recently. I got this in like a mystery box from him. I'm not super wild in love with it. I haven't used it a lot. It's very kind of one note to me. It, it's hard for me to get a whole look out of this and be pleased with it. Um, but I still, I want to play around with it some more. So I'm going to keep it. Okay, this is Teddy Boy from Butter London. This came in a boxy charm, I believe. This is a nice, this is a weird packaging how it opens like this. This is a nice cool toned neutral palette. It's got kind of a weird navy situation kind of going over here with these two colors. I liked it when I first got it. I thought, oh my gosh, I really, really, really like this. And I used it that first week multiple times. And then I haven't touched it since. I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay, this is Esmeralda by Beauty Creations. This is another item that came in a subscription box. I've only used it once. I don't think I would ever pick this up if I was just in a store. I'm going to hold on to it because I've only used it once. I want to try it out a couple more times. Um, this one, definitely keeping. This is the Blood Money palette from Jeffree Star. If you like green eyeshadow, you will love this palette. It is so great. Um, the packaging is fierce and love it, keeping it. Um, more Jeffree Star. I got the... <laughs> It's funny, I'm only a Jeffree Star fan for a short amount of time, but um, this is a conspiracy palette. I was on the fence about this from that docuseries. I actually didn't get it then. I got this in a mystery box as well. Um, I like it. I've only used it a few times. I'm not in love with it. I'm glad I didn't purchase it at the time because I think I would have been disappointed with it, but I'm enjoying kind of testing it out that it came, you know, knowing I didn't spend a ton of money on it because it came in a mystery box. Okay. So my last little stack over here, I feel like my pile of get rids is not very big. I need to get more cutthroat. Okay, this is the Revolution or I Heart Revolution Makeup Coffee palette. Uh, I wanted this for a long time. And I think I'm so dramatic. I think it's because I wanted it for these two purple shades. Why do I always go after these purple shades? Oops, why did I do that? Here we go. Crap. Uh, it's a nice neutral palette. I think if you have a really small makeup collection, you somebody might enjoy this. I just don't use it very much. Uh, uh, I'm gonna get rid of it. This is ColourPop's Truly Madly Deeply. I just got this for Christmas from my friend Danielle. It's really pretty. Um, I like the neutral shades. I like the pressed glitter. I know a lot of people don't like pressed glitter. I think people who don't like pressed glitter just don't like glitter, period. And Because it's messy, and it is. But I like it. I've enjoyed using this. Um, I wore this palette, I think, on New Year's Eve? Or maybe Christmas. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like it. I'm going to keep it. This is the Nomad by Juvia's Place, and this was another palette that I wanted for a really long time, and I finally picked it up a couple months ago, and I love it. I wish I would have gotten it sooner. It's a gorgeous... I feel like it's not that exciting looking at it in the palette, but it is so nice to use. This weird moss green color is just so good. This center color... Oh my gosh. It's just such a gorgeous shade. It is one of my favorite just kind of like you need to throw like one color on your whole lid like really quick like oh gosh look at that so nice oh my gosh it's so pretty look at that pigment so beautiful absolutely in love with this palette let me do the green one too um like i said i feel like oh this, it's kind of crumbly when you put it on like a swatch but i don't notice that issue when i'm using it on my eyes like with brushes and stuff um, yeah, I just like this palette. 
definitely keeping it. I wish that purple palette was as good as this one. Next up, okay, this is the Baked Brows from Dose of Color. This is an all matte palette of nudes. Mm, don't really care for it. I'm gonna get rid of it. This is the Fairy Tale Storybook. No, what is this? This is Storybook Cosmetics Fairy Tale. This is like the Robin Hood version. It came in a FabFitFun or a BoxyCharm or something like that. It looks like a book. It's cute. Like their packaging is so cute. But why is it gotta be so thick? Like why? Like compared to another palette, this is nuts. It's too much packaging. It's too much product. It takes up too much space. There's only six shadows in here. I mean, why is it so thick? I love this palette. I use this a ton when I first got it. I absolutely loved it. I'm getting, I'm going to get rid of it because of the space it takes up because it's just so thick. It's obnoxious to me. And I feel like I have other versions of these colors in other palettes. Um, so yeah, this one's going by. This is Studio Makeup. I don't know. This came in a subscription box. Such a basic palette. Too boring. I don't like it. Moving on. This is from Dominate Cosmetics. This is the Celestial Thunder. All I have to say about this palette is ew. <laughs> like, I only like this shade and this shade in here. I'm not afraid of color. Like, some of my other palettes definitely have some more color. I just don't know. No, 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 no. This is my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I know there was all this drama about these palettes when they first came out that they were really crappy. This palette has never been crappy. I have always loved this palette. I'm not going to get rid of it. I don't really use it very often, but I, I love this palette so much that I can't bring myself to get rid of it. The only disappointing shade is probably Gem, that purple shade. I don't use that, but everything else is gorge. Gorgeous. Love it. This is a Ciate palette. That's what it looks like. Um... onto this. This is still relatively new in my collection and I think I want to play around with it more. These are shades that I don't necessarily go for. They're kind of like that mid-tone. I usually like things that are either light or dark or transition shades. Um, I'm Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play around with this some more. This is the Mini Orgy palette from Jeffree Star. This is the palette that there was something wrong with their production. Some of the shades, like, literally just don't show up like at all um here let me, let me let me do some swatches which you can't really even see the swatches like literally nothing comes up like this one works that one's pretty this one nothing really comes up oh this one foam party it looks like it would be a gorgeous color you like rub your hand in it, nothing happens. Nothing comes out. Um, they're supposed to replace it. I can't remember when this palette came out. I still haven't received my replacement, but they said they're going to mail them out in February. Um, the shades that do work are gorgeous. I think I'm just going to hold on to it till the new one comes in. It's just kind of a backup. Okay, this is... <laughs> this is hard. This is a MAC palette that I put together. Oh my god, I can't even remember. Years ago? Years? Oh gosh, I'm like looking at this thinking really how old are some of these shades? Look at that one I hit pan on. These ones broke and I reset them or whatever that one I hit pan on. I'm gonna keep the palette. I think I might go through and get rid of some of the shades. Yeah, I definitely don't wear these kind of shades anymore over here. Oh, look, a purple. I'm like always hunting for purple. I mean, look, this old, old ass <laughs> mac purple performs better than that new juvia's place purple does um yeah i these are so old i probably shouldn't even use them anymore i'm gonna get rid of all the palettes i'm gonna keep the the actual um i'm gonna get rid of the shadows and keep the palette okay this is absolutely difficult for me this look how dirty this thing is this is the best year ever 2018 holiday palette from Too Faced. Okay. First of all, why is there not a mirror here? Too Faced. Second of all, Too Faced is my favorite brand for a really long time. 
I don't know if it's really true anymore. I don't really, feel, I don't feel like I have like a favorite brand anymore. Like there's, I think, but I think Too Faced and Mac will always have like a special spot in my heart. And like, no, I'll say it. Yeah, those are probably my two favorite brands. This is, I think, one of the most perfect palettes. It has the perfect balance of neutrals and then little pops of color, great shimmers. It came with a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. This was my go-to palette whenever I traveled for a really, really long time. My collection has grown, so I don't reach for this. I haven't, I probably haven't worn this in the last year, but because this is like my favorite palette of all time, guess what? I'm not getting rid of it. <laughs> okay, okay. I feel good though. Okay, let's, let's go over really quick. Like, let's look at what we have, okay? Um, okay, so we're getting rid of the coffee palette. We're getting rid of the Storybook Cosmetics. Teddy boy. This one's still hard because it's hard to get rid of something that's new, right? It's easy to get rid of old stuff, but something that's new. Like, I don't have a baby blue. Do I? Wait, hold on. If it's in the Jawbreaker palette, I don't need it, right? Right? Okay, what's in the Jawbreaker palette? Okay, I got a baby blue in the Jawbreaker palette. I got a purple. I don't have a medium blue. When do I ever wear medium blue, though? right? That's actually a nice swatch. Do I keep this palette? Because I like this, these two shades. Can I pop these out? I don't, I've never like deep hand a palette before. Okay, I'm going to try this afternoon to get these out. If I can get them out, I'm going to keep it. If I can't get them out, this is going. Okay, that's what's happening. Goodbye violets from Juvia's Place. You were disappointing. Goodbye, Pure. You're well loved, but I don't need you anymore. This weird, crappy neutral palette that came in one of those subscription boxes. The dumb Morphe palette. This ugly palette. More nudes. More just basic stuff. That, like this, I just don't need it. I think it was great. I think the idea of it is great. I just don't need it. Um, and then this one was kind of hard for me to let go of. I feel like I've tried it so many times though. Just so many, I've tried so many different looks with it and I'm just never pleased with it. Um, yeah, okay. So yeah, I feel good. I feel good about this. This is a good kind of clear out, reduced my collection pretty significantly. Um, yeah, well, thanks for watching. Not getting rid of that, like I said. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it inspires you to kind of do a little bit of declutter in your collection and make your collection more manageable and just make it more things you love and not being crowded around by products that you're like not excited about and don't give you those kind of like you know makeup butterflies in your stomach so all right well thanks for watching stay safe out there and I'll see you next time bye